Average and instantaneous speed, note card number one. Average speed is defined as the total distance traveled D divided by the total time elapsed T. Here's a graph of distance dependent on time. Time is in hours and the distance is in miles traveled. Graphically, the average speed is the slope of the secant line. Analytically, the average speed is the change in distance divided by the change in time. Here's how the formula is often seen. Average speed equals the absolute value of delta D divided by delta T. In calculus class, we will often refer to the slope of secant line, or average speed, or average rate of change, by the acronym AROC, or AROC. For this secant line, the change in distance is 240 miles minus 30 over 3 hours minus 1 hour, which equals 105 miles per hour. Now we'll take a look at instantaneous speed. Instantaneous speed is the speed at a specific instant in time. Let's evaluate the speed at one second. Here's a point on the graph at one second. Graphically, the instantaneous speed is the slope of the tangent line at a specific point. And analytically, we need calculus to determine this instantaneous speed. In our calculus course, we can call this slope of the tangent line at a specific point the instantaneous rate of change, or IROC or IROC which we will call that in this course. Uh, here's a problem. A roller coaster has its largest drop modeled by the equation d of t equals 1.93 t cubed minus 31.82 t squared plus 113.83 t plus 158.65. d of t is measured in feet and t is measured in seconds. Here's the graph of the roller coaster's height versus time for the first 10 seconds. At around 2 seconds, the roller coaster reaches a maximum height close to 300 feet and reaches its minimum height around 9 seconds. What is the average speed of the roller coaster from 2 seconds to 8 seconds? Here are the points on the graph marked at 2 seconds and 8 seconds. The average speed is the absolute value of delta D over delta T. The line connecting these points is the secant line. The average speed is the absolute value of the slope of the secant line. Here the values are entered using the formula to calculate the average speed between 2 and 8 seconds. Only the last portion of the numerator can be seen here on the calculator view screen. We get an average speed of 42.25 feet per second. Now we'll move on to part B. What is the average speed of the roller coaster from 4 seconds to six seconds. We bring back our graph of the roller coaster height versus time. Here are the points on the graph at four seconds and at six seconds. Again, the average speed is the absolute value of the slope of the secant line containing these two points. And here again is the formula for the average speed. And here correct numbers of four seconds and six seconds are entered in the calculator. Again, all the figures are not visible on the screen of the calculator. Press enter. We get an average speed of 57.69 feet per second. Let's go on to part C. Estimate the instantaneous speed of the roller coaster at exactly 5 seconds. Here the graph is marked at exactly 5 seconds. The instantaneous speed is the absolute value of the slope of the tangent line. And without calculus, we cannot get the exact instantaneous speed. But without calculus, we can make an estimate that is quite close by placing points very close together and finding the absolute value of the slope of the secant line containing these very two close together points. Here are two points very close together on the graph. And here's the secant line containing these points. To get a very close estimate, we're going to use times of one hundredth of a second lower and one hundredth of a second higher than five seconds. So those times will be 4.99 and 5.01 seconds. And here are those two time values entered into our calculator. Again, not all the data entered are visible in this view. Press enter. We get an estimated instantaneous speed of 59.6198 feet per second. The lesson is intended 
to be very early in our study of calculus, so much so that we are investigating methods of estimation which will be followed with calculus. I looked ahead using calculus, the only thing that will give an exact answer, and got the actual instantaneous speed of 59.62 feet per second. So in this case, the difference between the estimated speed and the actual speed is very small, only two ten thousandths of a foot per second. So estimates, if made very closely enough, can be exceptionally accurate. This has been Average Instantaneous Speed. Note card number one. Thanks for viewing.